There's a man with a gun over there Telling me I've got to beware Just up that camera It's like right in front of the screen Let's see if it fucks with anything Now I'm going to go hit on the arm Commander, do you have a minute? I always make time for my officers. Off the record, I think there's something wrong here. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction, but we can't get backup from the Council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. The Council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. It's funny, we finally get out here, and the final frontier was already settled. And the residents don't even seem impressed by the view. Or the dangers. Well, well. You're a romantic. Did you sign on for the dream, Alenko? Secure a man's future in space? <laughs> yeah, I, re I read a lot of those books when I was a kid, where the hero goes to space to prove himself worthy of a woman he loves, or... You know, for justice. Now, maybe I was a romantic in the beginning, but I thought about it after brain camp. Uh, sorry. Biotic acclimation and temperance training. I'm not looking for the dream. Uh, I just want to do some good. See what's out here. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in BOT. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. You can see the kitten. That's all that matters. Is there some question about how you were exposed? My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics, a little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shock, the outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. Gosh, we did have a little shit. circle that'd get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. You were all teenagers. I'm sure you found other ways to occupy the time. I'm not the sort who does that kind of thing, Commander. Not lightly, anyway. There was a girl oh, my I heavy spent a lot of time you. with, but we kept our clothes on. Rana. She was from Turkey. Her family was very rich, but she was smart. And charming as hell. Beautiful. But not stuck up about it. Like you, I guess. Wow. Well, Ma'am. Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Or maybe she felt the same. But things never felt together. Training, you know. You know of any intentional exposures for certain? No one knows. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. 
It was different then. No one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetix did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The Grand Gateway to Humanity looks a lot better in the vids. Anyway, this was supposed to be a casual debrief, not a bull session about stuff that happened years ago. I wanted to get to know you a little better, that's well, all. You're welcome, ma'am. You, uh, make a habit of getting this personal with everyone? Of course. But I don't enjoy it with everyone. I'll, uh, but, yeah. That wasn't what I'd I wanted. Like I wanted to not hit on him. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. She's done a lot of stuff. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, oh, Commander. I hear that. If you hadn't shown up, I... Technically, it's against regulations, but it happens all the damn time, as I understand. I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Sounds dangerous and lonely. Sometimes, I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers. But I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau. I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes, I just need to get away from other people. You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. All children rebel against their parents. It's a natural part of growing up. <laughs> you share the wisdom of the matriarch, Shepard. That is exactly what Benezia said when I told her of my decision. But there was more well, to that it makes than that. You creepy I felt drawn to the past. The Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about them. That is why I find you so fascinating. You were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No, I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess, how could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. This hurts you, doesn't it? 
None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Benezia in many years, but I know her. And this was not like her. Something changed. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council. And we always strive to be the voice Space of elves. peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to so understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term. Not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved. But it is not an essential element of the union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. I thought you always needed another species to serve as one of the parents. Think about it, Shepard. If we were not able to mate with our own species, we would have died out long before we ever mastered spaceflight and left our homeworld. Union with our own kind is no longer common, not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father. Anti Nazis. If both parents are Asari, then Nazis. nothing has been gained, or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood, though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face. It is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Maybe she wanted to meet you but couldn't. I guess something could have happened to her. Maybe she passed away. You might be right. I hope you are. But I have no way to know for sure. She's a bartender Benezia on Omega. Never spoke of her partner. <laughs> Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. You Asari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as we long as We dance the dance of mourning. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. I should go. Okay. Goodbye, Shepard. Okay. Wish there were more crew members on this level. But, well, it doesn't really matter. I'd have to go down to the cargo bay anyway. So, we've got Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good? He's rotten. To the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. 
Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. Um, a bunch of mercs were bragging about it. The, the, the bartender the the is also the bartender system. on the Citadel in the third Said game, and well, she says so. Boss was never you can arrange a meeting if you want. Them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. Saren likes to watch. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him. So I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. Whose ship was it? There was a Volus trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. Are your people really We're dying? sure. We're too spread out. So long, uh, Rex. Shepard. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time off the record. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. All right. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy. But, uh, I'm... I'm concerned about the aliens. Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? They may not serve the Alliance Chief, but they're allies. At least as far as Saren goes. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them... And right now, it's being used by an assistance. agent of the Citadel. Engines, sensors, a specter. weapons... You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. We, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. As noble as the Council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. You got a pessimistic view of the universe, Williams. And you're wrong. The third game will prove that. Realist. Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, <laughs> you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it I've is been on way. every deck of this it's ship, every racism, room. Not really. There are no Maybe bathrooms. Their species will always be more important to them than humans are. Not until the second game. She'll she'll learn too. She and Presley, they are the protagonists of Green Book in Space. These seem like deeply held beliefs, Williams. What made you think this way? My family's defended the Alliance since it was founded. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. It doesn't sound like you've worked with aliens before. No, ma'am. Mainly I've been groundside, part of the surface garrison forces. I did get a rotation on a space station for training. Every Marine a rifleman, every rifleman ZG certified. That's odd. Your record is spotless and your technical scores are exemplary. You should be serving with the fleet. Anyway, that's why I haven't served with many aliens, Commander. 
Yeah, I come from a military family, too. My parents were both Navy. Anybody in your family we might know? Couldn't say, Commander. We probably have a lot in common. You join up to carry on the tradition? No. The future of humanity is out here. There's so much we haven't seen yet. Yeah. So many aliens to bang. I still bang. remember my first field exercise on Titan. When we hit mud, the reality hit me. I'm the first person who ever stood here. Then my drill instructor kicked me in the ass. I went face first into the muck. He spent the next five minutes chewing me out for gold breaking. Don't tell me you had Gunny Ellison. <laughs> He's the only one who uses that word to describe shirking duty. Oh lord, you went to the Makapog boot camp too? Yeah, Gunny Ellison's still Goodbye. rooming out recruits down there. Kicking ass and using words like inveigle and pusillanimous. <laughs> All right, I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're gonna have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem. Not man. peeing Lynn's you urgency jump, to I your fighting. High. You tell me to kiss a Turian, I'll ask which cheek. Lower left. I don't think kissing Turians will be necessary. You never know, Until commander. Not the second game. What's your opinion of the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. Their family, right? I think she's being straight with us. Or at least I don't think she lies very often. Yeah, she's probably really bad at it. Hey, want me to ask her about her sex life? Might be illuminating. I don't think she's used to teasing, good natured or otherwise. No fun, Commander. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Sexual tension you could cut with a knife. Commander, how are you? Why did you want to be a C-Sec officer in the first place? Hmm, that's a good question. What? There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? I need not a soda Probably pop. Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was C-Sec, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. Do, 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 do. I'll be right back to choose the next, oop. Bit of the discussion tree. Yeah, we'll be back in a second, little man. I'm sorry for waking you up. I'm sure you can get back to sleep right away. That's tough. But you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Saren. My father's a C-Sec man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger, for the same reasons. You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Space Turian military Batman. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not going to yeah. play by our rules. Authority is bad. Unaccountable authority is even worse. Nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Just because you can break bad the rules puppy. doesn't mean you should. I don't need to stoop to Saren's level to stop him. And neither do you, Garrus. I see what you mean, but... I'll think about it. Thanks, Commander. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Ooh, that's much better than what I got right now. How much money do I even know? Oh, I can't tell. There it is. Uh, 41, uh, yeah, I'll definitely. There we go. Hello. Yes, yes, please. We do believe in the microphone. That's exactly what I can do. That probably sounds amazing. <laughs>
has a much better rifle too. is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me, especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving, and the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? The silence wakes you up? Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. It means an engine's died or an air filter shut down. I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But old habits die hard. But it's more than we'll get just you a the white noise generator. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have till it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder paradise. if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. Line. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Saren first. Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. Tell me about your people. Our lives aren't easy. There are 17. Unfortunately, we have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties. What kind of freedoms? Well, it's illegal for. A, in extreme okay, cases, of part of part of like what? See you later. Something I can Anything do for you, Engineer Adams? Adams? Carry on, Adams. Nope. Aye, aye, Commander. Carry on my way, would Chief Engineer Adams. There'll be peace when you are dead. Asteroid X five seven. the Batarian thing? Yes. Okay.
new stuff. Shift, blue shift. Okay. Uh, boom, boom. Lesson I have. Yeah, the barren planets, they do them well. Cover me. They do a lot of things well. The Mako doesn't handle well, but I do enjoy just sort of wandering around exploring the planets. Except the ones where it's really, really annoying.
nothing fancy. Just lay on my wall of books. <laughs> really? This guy. And the dog. And my brother. Or what make it special. accurate slightly less damage but let's see uh two three four times point one seven I still think the soft focusing nature of everything is weird. I suspect that was something to do with limitations in the original system, but it might be a stylistic thing. I think a lot games should uh, spend less time on striving for the ultimate thing.
times. Watch where you're driving, Shepard. You're going to be going out into the most hostile territories. We're going to give you a car. A car that can fly. Not very much. It's deserted. You're moving up and I'm moving out. I think the little rivulet of water down the middle of the pipe, it's a nice touch. That's right, kitty. Dog is harmless. <laughs> God. <laughs> it's been 
Kitty's putting up with it. <laughs> Down just a little bit, Wesley. Just a little bit. <laughs> Be a little bit gentler. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> he was sleeping, not playing. <laughs> You're sleeping where I can get to you, so you must want to play, right? <laughs> Yourself, aren't you, kid? <laughs> That's what I get for not paying attention. Thank you for cleaning my foot there, Wesley. I, I was worried that it might not be. exactly eager to be your bestest friend right now. You'll have to work up to it, Wesley. <laughs>
gets. Got my shotguns for Rex. We're done with that planet, ain't we, little man? Sitting like this, you might not be able to see the kitty. message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation hey, here and you're the only one that can handle it. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills. 
is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Is this the moon mission? Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI Corps and manually disable it. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail-safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can't affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answer the Council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military. And right now, we need That's an you. iffy sort of statement. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Husks. What are we looking at here? Intruders, kill the hawk. Let's try that again.
Take cover. Intruders, kill the hostage. Keep on trying to reload my gun. everywhere remember Sasha it's perfectly okay to claw the shit out of the dog <laughs> let's be honest you don't care about me the size of the pup. Pup is playing pretty friendly. Although the kitten is now falling off the back of the sofa. <laughs> you okay, buddy? Okay, you're not you're not running over to me, so you're probably okay. I'm on it! Sure. So I no longer have to worry about the dog being able to get to him. <sighs> you need to realize you're huge compared to the kitten. All right, time to talk down some terrorists. See how it is? You write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish the charade? Please, I was trying to help you people. Let's not do anything we're all gonna regret. Why not? What have we got to lose? Since the chairman here decided that we can always have a pet if they don't know you've got have nothing a pet. left to live for. But I've changed my mind. Seeing you all, it, it, it's clear that you all deserve. You had your chance. Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants, but you voted against reparations. Think about this. Burns is the one man who can help you. Yes, if you release me, I can take another look at the reparations request. What, we're supposed to trust you? Sure, you promise us freedom and say everything will be fine, but as soon as we surrender, you'll double-cross us. I'm not promising to let you go. All I'm saying is that Burns will take another look. Right, Burns? Absolutely. I had no idea that the L2 biotics were this desperate. If I'd known... The reparations will come. For whatever it's worth, I promise that. You're right. I don't want to die. Maybe something will happen this time. We surrender. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. I'll see to it that the reparations discussion is reopened. I didn't know they were so desperate. A Fifth Fleet cruiser will be by shortly to pick you and the prisoners up. Zap.
could train the cat to use a gun, then it would be a military cat. That's totally a thing that could happen. Yes, thank you, Wesley. My toes are filthy. I'm certain you're, you're doing a powerful lot of good there. than to say, hey, we have a physics engine. We have a physics engine. Well, it makes perfect sense that the human Navy would be the one to respond to a human problem. But I'm... Let's see, how did I get... Oh, that's right. I, I got this by hacking a computer in the ambassador's office, so it definitely makes sense that the Alliance Navy would be the one to act this way. Even though I'm not really in the Navy anymore. Message coming in. Patching it through. Thank you for dealing with the hostage situation, Commander. Oh, that's General why they... Burns was okay. quite impressed by the way you resolved the situation peacefully. Your assistance above and beyond the formal duties has been noted, Commander. Fifth fleet out. <laughs> Remember, you don't get to play with a kitten that doesn't want to play with you, Wesley. But lying there by my chair is perfectly acceptable. Ming. be a member of the Alliance Navy and a Spectre, that seems like an unavoidable conflict of st stuff. Maybe you could be on detached service with the Spectres? But if so, you would no longer be part of the command structure, maybe? I don't know.
MSV Worthington. That makes sense. Though I gotta admit, my understanding of the military and chains of command and stuff is limited to pretty much Band of Brothers. <laughs> Empty. Most of the systems are shut down. It's just running on basic life support. Oh, is this the one where the captain died and his wife refused to let him be taken off life support? Hear She's that? a badass biotic. We're not alone. That was no accident. The whole place could be a trap. You're not alone. When it cuts down to the bone, really not so different after all. Don't step into my line of fire, Rex. Jeez. Were you born yesterday? Don't walk right up to bombs, Rex. Yes, the Normandy was a joint ship, or created by a joint task force or something. Even though it only has humans on it, and accepted the service of a really, really racist dude, which I'm thinking the Alliance would have been careful to avoid. Machines keeping him alive. I'm not seeing any brain activity on the readouts. He's dead. This body is just an empty shell. Leave him alone until we know more about what's going on here. You're right. Better to just leave him be for now. Jacob's not going to make it. His brain was deprived of oxygen for too long. There's nothing any of us can do for him now except let him die with dignity. It's what he would want. I'm more worried about Julia now. She's showing signs of severe depression. I gave her some meds that should help, but I better warn the captain. Jacob's gone. They say his brain isn't functioning anymore, and they want to shut off his machines. But Jacob's the only thing in the world that matters to me. I don't know how to help him, <laughs> but it's tearing me up inside. I just feel so helpless. I do enjoy so the codex. I'm angry. Dr. Smith gave me some meds to calm down, but I didn't take them. I can't. Not until I figure out a way to help Jacob. I won't give up on him. I won't. Jacob is showing no signs of brain activity. There's nothing more we can do for him. He wouldn't want to be kept alive by machines, so we're going to disconnect the life support. Dr. Smith is worried about Julia's reaction, though. She can't seem to let Jacob go. The stress is making her implants flare up, causing intense migraines. 
It'll probably be easier for everyone if we don't tell her until after we shut the life support down. Give her a chance to. Julia, what are you doing here? Why are you... Look out! Enemies everywhere. Poor Julia. You did the right thing, Shepard. I go through his pockets. Normandy, Agincourt. Yeah, yeah. I think that's in the codex, though. Faster than light drives use L Larger warships are generally classified in one of four weights. Frigates are small, fast ships used for scouting and screening of larger vessels. Cruisers. Named after cities. Dreadnoughts. Named after mountains. Fighters. Doesn't, doesn't say. <laughs> oh, that's because they're single. Frigates. Frigates are the ones that are named after great battles in human histories. Shame on you for not realizing that. It's right there. Some nerd you are. Flatters are named after. I think they have names. They probably have names, but they're probably named for the end of, by the individual pilots. Are we giving a lot more leeway there? No, we're going to Han. We're not going to Han because it hasn't shown up yet. If it ever does. Given that this is a world 
with um, lots and lots of aliens. There could be quite a wide variety of sexy paintings on those frigates, fighters. Sexy Elcor, sexy bolus. Sexy Elcor and a sexy bolus. Now I just have to Google sexy bolus. The internet does not disappoint. Well, I mean, it disgusts, but it doesn't disappoint. <laughs> okay. Meet the goss. they mark the kills. They would probably think do it in accordance with what they had blown up. It's blowing up a Batarian punchy fist ship. Probably be, be a very different thing. All this shield made. Yeah, that's one of the armor. 
temperatures. And oh, look at that, there's a flying air control. The snipers. some good filk songs out there, but how awesome it is to go out and explore space.
believe that's everything. Wait. Oh, right. Yep, that's everything on this planet. Oculus drones. Those are what they're called. Oculus. Which is basically a fancy word for iBot. <laughs> yes, heat hazard. You would not get an outcrop of mercury on a heat hazard planet. Especially not with an atmospheric pressure of just one atmosphere. Come on. It's much like special class so I can kick some special ass Programmers, there's no atmosphere on Luna. Shouldn't behave like that. Yeah, 
eyes ain't exactly clear There's a man with a gun See, if you look really close there at Earth, you can see the ice wall all the way around the edge of the disk. Smart. Do they have to be Shepard to handle this one? I'll put wave after wave of my own men at your disposal, Commander.
thing here. Let's funnel him into the dead zone. Or you can stay out there and die, that's fine. Dying is an unconventional choice. I wouldn't have made it. I respect you for making it, Dolly. Remember to go to the med bay between missions. Okay, 
has five knights. Doing down there, little man. Sound asleep, I guess. Baby, yep. Ooh, tally armor. Better and better. I am indeed playing this on a console, Pris. I am playing it on Xbox One. Hence why I have to have my laptop set up over here in order to get the thing set up. Chat. Otherwise, you'd just be sitting there watching me play, which would be even more boring than sitting there watching me play and occasionally hearing me talk at you. You did not die, Tolly. I'm not going to say it's because I made you use shield boost, but it's because I made you use shield boost.
Oh, this would go slightly faster if you do an hell of a I've already been here. This is not the one that's left. Last of the three. Let's see, seven percent would be fourteen damage. No, not worth it. Not quite, especially not with fewer shots. Thank you. 
press on that one. Sasha is doing quite well. Um, the skin on her tail has almost completely regrown. Back in the second, god damn it. Um, the scab is down to low. It is kind of repetitive, a little bit annoying. Let's see, it took me, I think, four playthroughs of this just to get achievements. I can't remember if that last playthrough was the one where I started playing through. It was. Oh, and I also had to do another playthrough to get the new game plus make it to level 50 achievement. So I might have played through this five times. Suffice it to say, I've played through it a lot. Generally, know all the thingies. It's mostly a matter of being reminded. And I believe it's plays through, not playthroughs.
can I save? I cannot. So I'm going to... Now is not the time! No, it's not. Go back outside. Save out here. If I can't save in there, I'll save out here. Let's get moving. Yeah, I would like to. Get out of the way. Ooh, I can save. Um, I was actually joking about the playthrough thing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is playthrough. Playthroughs. Ordinarily, things get uh, a weird pluralization when they come to us from French. <laughs> There's nothing French about playthrough. Thanks for the advice, AG.
medical interface is the best. Medical interface on top of being a Krogan, Rex should be taking this. Fuck on a stick. <laughs> I'm gonna have to redo that whole fight, aren't I? Damn shooting gallery. That's the way you do it. Well, I'm an adept, so of course I'm squishy. I think it's gonna throw more problems at it at some point, but we'll see.
send out her mournful little cry. find a quick translation of that little burst of rogue VI. Edie, not Edie, Edie. Ah, that just means help.
Kill some heavy rockets on. Slap some gel on me. But it is ain't exactly clear. Okay. Now I'm going to run downstairs and replenish my gel so I don't forget. Save. Deal with my full inventory and a 